what are biostimulants? The official European Biostimulants Industry Council says, plant biostimulants contain substances and or microorganisms whose function when applied to plants of the rhizosphere is to stimulate natural processes to enhance or benefit nutrient uptake, nutrient efficiency, tolerance to abiotic stress and or crop quality. In December of 2018, the U.S. for the first time included essentially the same definition in its Agriculture Improvement Act, often called the Farm Bill. The essence of this biostimulant definition is accepted globally. Biostimulants are a critical element of sustainable agriculture because of their ability to improve soil quality and increase nutrient use efficiency. They are different than traditional fertilizers in that they do not deliver nutritional elements to the plants, although they often improve the assimilation of nutrients, and they are not chemical plant growth regulators. Yet some biostimulant substances have been shown to activate precursors to plant hormones and stimulate production and gene expression and they are neither pesticides nor herbicides. Some biostimulants, however, are derived from microorganisms that have been shown to be effective at protecting plants from such things as soil-borne pathogen. Biostimulants are very much in a class of their own because of the extensive array of their benefits. There are some very important factors that differentiate biostimulants from traditional fertilizers and other inputs. Plant biostimulants are often derived from natural sources, and they have the ability to positively impact the natural physiological functions of all the various structures of a plant. The roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. To use an analogy, it would be like supplementing your own nutritional requirements with a healthy source of protein and energy, micronutrients, and beneficial probiotics to help your body realize optimal strength and growth and to help ward off or recover from disease. Examples of physiological functions that biostimulants can affect include such things as increases in root growth and biomass, increased uptake and translocation of nutrients, activation of hormone signaling pathways and gene expression, protection of photosynthetic activity during stress, and even improving a plant's rhizosphere, which can provide a better environment for symbiotic relationships with beneficial microbials in the soil. Stimulation of these physiological functions then result in actual physical changes in plants, such as better nutritional composition, improvements in nutrient use competence, improved water use capability, enhanced resistance to and recovery from abiotic stress such as drought and salinity, and higher chlorophyll concentration. Growers are continuously faced with the need to balance the economics of input and output. The careful use of high quality, carefully researched biostimulants have demonstrated their ability to overcome the cost of use for many farmers through improvements in their harvestable yield. They have added to the sustainability of a grower's land by reducing the need for inputs and decreasing nutrient leaching. We've seen increases in the value of crops with improvements in fruit quality and extensions in shelf life. And we have even seen improvements in biofortification, the process by which the nutritional quality of food crops is improved or the nutritional composition of crops, meaning their sugar, nutrient, or protein content. Biostimulants have wide application efficacy and are generally beneficial for all growing plants, whether in industrial agriculture, professional horticulture, or even home gardening. Depending on the type, biostimulants can be applied via foliar means, with fertigation, in furrow, at transplant, on roots, or on seeds. And they are produced from a multitude of sources and technologies, humic and fulvic acids, beneficial microbials like mycorrhizae, trichoderma, and plant growth promoting rhizobacteria, protein hydrolysates, preferably from vegetal sources with amino acids or even better containing complete peptide chains, seaweed, kelp, botanicals, the list goes on, and the list will continue to grow as new products and technologies are developed. The bottom line is that investment into continued development of biostimulant technologies and research into understanding specifically what physiological functions can be affected and how 
is essential for the future of sustainability in agriculture. And access for growers to solid, dependable information regarding the types, technologies, and use of biostimulants is what Biostimulant.com is all about. Welcome to the journey.